the light's not good as before and that's because I procrastinate with everything and now the sun is leaving me. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sebastian and I am tired. I am tired and I know that I say this on a daily basis and all my friends already know how I am and even if I'm not tired, I will say I'm tired just because I want to sit down and take a break. But this time is different. I actually feel like I need to sleep. And believe it or not, I think it's because of jet lag. And yes, I know I've been in Australia for more than a month and that jet lag cannot be a thing anymore. No, but honestly, the reason is because I traveled this weekend and I couldn't sleep well there and then I came home and then I couldn't sleep well here. So that's what I want to talk about today. About traveling, specifically people that you see on holidays. Number one, the honeymoon. Because this is the couple that everyone hates. They may be just married or they have been together for like 50 years, but they are cute as fuck and you're jealous of them. They will be walking down the beach in Hawaii, holding hands, kissing on the sunset, and I'm sitting there with my only love at the moment, which is alcohol, saying something like, oh, they're holding hands, I want them dead. Don't pretend you don't hate them, because that's our life goals, that's real hashtag relationship goals. To travel with your significant other and seeing the world and being all cute together, but when you do that, and when you find that person, be aware that people like me are gonna be there sitting and hitting you from afar because you're eating bread in front of the starving that's a Spanish expression, I don't know, you get what I mean Number two, the partiers. This usually happens when there's a group of friends traveling together and they will be asking when the pre-drinking starts at like 8 a.m. By 2 p.m. they will be super drunk and they will probably fall asleep under the sun and wake up with weird shapes because their friends got all creative with sunscreen. So bro, if you're gonna get drunk and fall asleep in the sun, make sure you cover all your body in sunscreen because you don't want a shape of like what's supposed to be way below your chest. <laughs> you can also identify these people because they're scared of the sun even more than vampires. Why are you wearing sunglasses if we're indoors? Why are you so loud? Number three, the gym addict. Because I know a few people that live on me and if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. And if you have friends like this, you know who I'm talking about too. These are the people that have to work out every single day. Like, excuse me, vacation? Relax? Like, in, in the beach? Ocean? In the pool? Just chill? Nah, 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 nah. They will book the hotel that's 50% more expensive than the one you want to book just because it has a gym. For them, the perfect vacation is like MTV's Jersey Shore, where they party and get drunk, but don't forget about the workout. Because they want to have a situation right here in order to take off their shirts and impress all the ladies in the beach. While I'm here in the corner of a pool, already with a beer belly, asking for french fries with extra mayo. Number four, the perfectionist. These are the people that whenever they're going on vacation, they have to have everything planned at least a month or so beforehand. The next day we have to wake at 8 a.m. because there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six places that we have to visit. And if we stay only half an hour in each of them, we may even have time to see a firework. I don't know about you, but when I'm going on vacation, I forget about everything. But good for you if you have everything planned. I like traveling with people like that because I know they will make sure we visit all the nice places of the city. But I'm always the late one and then they end up hating me, so yeah, sorry. Number five, the elders. These are the really old people that go on vacations and some of them do not have shame. Like there's people that will yell to their teachers in class. There's some that don't care about puking all over in public. And then there's these people that I think they're saving a lot of money by buying as minimal clothing as they possibly can. They're 80 years old and they see you on the beach relaxing on your beach towel and then they want to put their beach towel in the sand so they lay down to do it and then you realize that they probably don't even have underwear and that is what my nightmares are made of. I do not need to see that of anyone unless you're really hot then yeah sure go for it but if not and if you're older than like my dad then no no however there's people in this group that are having more fun than you are. You will see this 80 year old man with like three ladies sitting on his lap and dancing to him or this 75 year old woman giving extra tip to the bartender and flirting with him and him smiling back to her and you're all young but playing there with like a yo-yo in the middle of the beach it's just sad number six the babies because who doesn't love babies until the moment they sit next to you on a plane when you have like a really long flight and that baby starts crying and kicking you <sighs> I need water these babies will be thinking something like, Oh, you think you're gonna relax on these occasions? Well, good luck with that. Because you're so lucky that that baby will be in the room next to you in your hotel and they'll be crying at 3 a.m. every single morning because they want food, they want them to change their diaper or anything. So all those plans that you had to relax are gonna change because now you're gonna be thinking about a plan of how if this baby disappears, it all seems like an accident. Yeah, those are the kind of thoughts that those babies make people have. Number seven, the Bob Marley. Because these people are more chilled 
than any reggae artist that you've ever seen. They'll arrive there and they won't have a place to stay yet, they don't know what they're gonna do, they don't know where they're gonna go. And do you think they're worried about that? Nah. They're just there to have a good time, whatever comes their way, it's gonna work out. And I also call them like that because I have my suspicion that they're on something. <laughs> No, I wish I was that relaxed. Like, I'm somewhere in between. These people are the perfectionist. Like, I don't plan everything, but I kinda won't know what I want to do. You do you and enjoy your holidays the way you wanna do it. Number eight, the budget. These are the people that shouldn't be traveling. They could barely afford the bus ticket or their plane ticket to go wherever you are. And don't get me wrong, you should be saving money to travel if that's what you wanna do. But these people get there with like $5 for a whole week. So when the rest of the group agrees to go out for dinner, he's just there staring at everyone's plate like, and it makes you feel like shit. So you're like, hey bro, do you want a french fry? And he's like, oh no, I can't, okay. Don't, don't, don't take my food from me. No, that's not friendship. That is not friendship. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the food and I have something serious going on here, okay? Okay. <laughs> Number nine, the lightweight. Sometimes I'm one of these people and these are the ones that travel with barely anything on them. They'll be going away for a full month and they're bringing like a little purse with them. Maybe a couple of underwear that they're gonna switch and keep washing every day. Like I bet you know one of these people that they wash their underwear every single night and then they put it next to like the air conditioning or something so that it will dry quickly in the hotel. I may or may not have done that a couple of times. <laughs> And finally, the local. This is the person that after like two days in the city, they know where everything is, they will tell you where to go to eat, they will tell you where to find a pharmacy, a restaurant, a shop, whatever you need. And consider yourself lucky if you're traveling with one of these people, because I'm always there on my phone trying to find the street and like moving maps and like moving my phone and being like, excuse me, do you know where this is? It's like having Dora the Explorer there for you, but they don't need maps and they can actually see the mountain behind them. <laughs> But that is all for today's video guys, yeah, I hope you liked it, if you did make sure to go down there and give it a thumbs up Also please leave me a comment down below saying which type of these are you when you travel Or which ones have you seen when you've traveled, did I miss any? Just let me know down there Don't forget to check out my last videos and if you want to make my day Just go click that subscribe button down there because I do post videos every single week, kinda I'll try. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and also all my social media links are down there in the description box in case you want to go follow me there. I would really appreciate it and I will see you next week. <laughs> Ciao for now. Do I look like a reggaetonero or something? Dale. <laughs>